Hello guys, welcome to Klaus Gaming. Here's another game that I thought it might be interesting to play some more missions in and continue the campaign. So let's do just that. We finished the first campaign mission in the uh, first impressions. So let's just continue the campaign. So we are playing Act 1 and we made it to Part 2, Infection. Trapped amongst the now infected biomass pools, the kill team must defend themselves from an enemy counterattack and find a way out. So we'll play it on normal, and here's our kill team. And I think it's a pretty good setup. We have a Devastator, and two sort of tactical marines, and two uh, melee fighters here. Where we can level up. Or we could save the uh, XP, but that's a gamble. If the soldier dies, he will lose the XP. He will not actually uh, die himself and be gone, but he will lose the XP that you have stored up. So how much is this? It's uh, 5,000. And this? 3,000. Bolt specialization, always active. More damage with a, a bolt gun. What is this? 2% chance to reduce target's um, action points by one per shot. Uh, no, no, none of this sounds that great, really. More war gear, and that's the same, yeah. I think this one, crack shot, use once every three terms, that would be very nice to have. So we might just, yeah, save up for that. Let's take a look at this guy here. How much is this? So we can afford this cleave attack. Use once every three turns, attack multiple units with a melee attack. Let's Purchase that. And I guess we'll get the same for this guy. Ah, he doesn't have enough XP. Um, I don't think he'll die. Let's just leave it at that and save up those 1000. Yeah, he doesn't really have enough either for anything. So we'll save his XP as well. Alright, let's roll. There's only the Emperor, and he is our shield and protector, second book of chantings. Brothers, you have been detected. Tyranid forces are massing toward your position. Set bombs, break through the enemy, and find a way out of this chamber. Okay, let's zoom out a little bit here. Take a look at the battlefield. So we have to set some bombs. Or defend them. I don't really see any uh, points of interest. So let's just push down the corridor. So we'll move out the uh, melee guys first to block off if there are any attackers. Second, we'll move up these plasma guys. And then we'll bring up the devastator. And I'll set him on overwatch down the corridor there. So let's pass the turn. So yeah, um, these two guys are blocking the overwatch from the Devastator, so <laughs> that wasn't that useful actually. I shall strike them from afar. They die no matter the range. Nonsense brothers, get in close. It is the only way to be sure. So now we get to try out the cleave attack. I guess he has to be adjacent down there then. Because he didn't actually hit it. The second one also. So let's move down here. And set up some overwatch. Let's move him here. Gotta move forward a little bit more carefully now. Uh, he only has one more movement point. I think I'll leave him here. I'll just move the Devastator up. To there. 
All right, let's pass the turn. Let's see what happens. So a bunch of them coming from down there. Ah, that one jumped out of the pool, I think. So they can do that. So, yeah. No one's in melee range anyway. And this guy can just shoot at this one. And then he still has... More uh, action points we can set overwatch this way. Move this guy up. Maybe he can shoot now. No, it's still uh, in cover. Just gonna make them come to us. Set overwatch here. I guess he could shoot at this one over there. So now I'm blocking everyone. Maybe we should have split them up. I said overwatch that way, I guess. All right, pass the turn. So I thought that the mission objective said uh, this, uh, it says defend the bombs six turns. So it's these two bombs there. So I guess we should uh, not have moved out, really. Should have stayed down there. I don't know if it matters at all. I'll uh, move this guy back here just in case anything comes out there. Yeah, let's move two guys back and then set up a fire team here to take care of this corridor. That should then we should be certain that nobody comes out from the side there. So it's Melee the first one here. It seems to be out of a line of sight of everyone but the melee guy. I'm gonna pull it back to here. Set up overwatch for that corridor. Pull him back as well. And set up overwatch here. That's it, let's pass the turn. They just came out of the side there. Um, yeah, so he might as well just take it out. And step back. So I'm not sure, but it, it looks like maybe they come out of these red fields. Let's move over here. Set up some overwatch. Don't move him back. Set up overwatch. Should look this way as well. So we're falling back here. Missing, it's a devastator, so I would need three movement points to uh, set up overwatch. So I can't really do anything with them, unfortunately. 
This guy take one shot. Didn't kill it. And we'll fall back here. Take a shot at this one. So this one will probably make it to the melee guy, but that should be okay. Alright, let's pass the turn. This one down here that made it close to the Devastator, that was really not part of the plan. Soon, the battle for the Lantern will begin. If only I was there with my chapter brothers. But you are not. You are here with us. And I know we do our duty, but I miss the roar of battle. The full might of a chapter in the air. A blunt instrument, brother. We in the Death Watch are the tip of the finest of blades. Our work is as equal, if not more important, than what the chapters do with the lantern. Yeah, so he was not that effective, the Devastator. Alright, let's start shooting at stuff here. Move this guy up. Might need him up here. I really have no idea if they could come out of here, uh, but let's expect that they don't. I move this guy up. Take out this one and this one. Uh, that one didn't die, but I think we're okay. Let's pass the turn. A lot of movement going on off camera. There's a lot of stuff incoming. Hmm. Yeah, this guy can hit with a chainsaw. He can also take out this guy over here, I think. And this one. I'll move the Devastate out here. And take a pot shot of this guy. Hmm, he doesn't have any line of sight, really. I'm not sure if I move him down here, maybe he can hit this one. Yeah, let's take a shot. So we might be able to clear it. Oh, that one's too far away, but we can set up overwatch. No, we can't. Alright, so why can't we do this? I'm not sure. The center turn. Yeah, so they don't do that much damage. But there's a lot of them. He gets to retaliate, but he misses as well.
Alright, two turns left to defend the bombs. So I'll take out this guy. And he'll just melee them. But he should really try to hit <laughs> so they don't retaliate. Um, he'll move one up. Take out this guy here. here. They're still out of range, I think, but we'll set up some overwatch so we can hit them if they come into view. Um, so we'll fall back here, I think. And that's it. End the turn. Uh, no, it isn't. Maybe we should move this guy up. Just in case. Oh, uh, um, actually, I'll move him up here. Yeah, he's fine, I think, because he can always step down here and shoot here. Instead of moving him up here, then he'll have to walk twice to get back there. So let's just end the turn. Ah, so it came out of the hole in the pool there again. I think this is the last turn we need to survive. So yeah, defend the bombs one turn, should be easy enough. I'm gonna set up overwatch this way. And this way. Devastator will watch this. So will he. What about this guy here? Yeah. Uh, these uh, really need tooltips. I know this one is a sort of charge blast. This looks like a scatter shot, but I'm not really sure what it does. Never mind, we'll set up some overwatch here. End the turn. That's <laughs> one unlucky Hormogant or whatever their name is. Step right into that. So this uh, must be the last turn. Let's take this out with the sword. This guy. And those were the only two in view, I think. So let's just set up some overwatch. There we go. Last turn. I said shooting off screen. It seemed to knock him out of Overwatch actually. Not that it matters right now, but it's good to know that they can do that if they hit them from behind. So we 
you completed the mission. You defended the bombs for nine turns. See how much XP we made. A good amount for everyone. So that's fine. So we got uh, 20 requisition points on a card. Got another plasma gun. So let's uh, do some uh, sorting of the space marines and some level ups and stuff before we uh, finish off this episode. So now we can get an ability. Black Rage, fire at everything in range. Or this one. Adrenaline Rush, use every four turns, take four action points from next turn. I feel like uh, Black Rage is probably the better one. And that's all he can do. Let's go back out. Take a look at what we can buy with this guy. So we can get Cleave. Um, yeah, we can't afford that one. Baller. This one is too expensive as well, so let's just get Cleave. Hit back out. Um, kill Ferguson. He already has Cleave. He has 2000 points, so that's not enough to do anything in here. We could level up his uh, stats a little bit, perhaps. Some more health. And we'll save the rest, I think, of the XP. Or maybe a chance to hit. Because they seem to miss a bit with their swords. Magnus. Ultramarine Tactical. This is the ability I was uncertain. What did free fire? Uh, fire at all enemies in range. Okay. And he can't really do too much either. So just uh, put his accuracy up. And save the rest of these XP. Here's a Devastator. He has an ability here we can unlock. Crack shot. Uh, plus 20% accuracy and 20% damage. Let's get that. So we have uh, regulars. Um, targeting link. Plus 20% accuracy to all friendly space marines until your next turn. That costs uh, 7000 XP though. Uh, this one we could buy steadfast, always active. Space Marine remains on Overwatch even if damaged. So he doesn't get knocked out of Overwatch. Mm, that's also this one, but we can't afford it. So let's actually just pick up this one. Ah, uh, maybe not. Let's save. Let's save for this targeting link. It sounds very useful. That's it. That's all we can do. Alright guys, we'll continue the, uh, with the next mission next time. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you all next time.